All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. All right, so there's the open. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got it hurt very fast. Nice hook, Lance. Now goes in and secures the takedown. His hand looking for a guillotine show. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flu choker. I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Edwards. Ground and pound strike there now. Five minutes in the books. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switching up for the big knees to the head. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. The 36 total strikes have landed from Leon Edwards. And landed with 66% accuracy against Kamaru. Go right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow, what a fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. We saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem, this said. Just misses with a left hook there. And an immediate 
can transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Edwards. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Edwards. And he is back up to his feet. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Usman's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Rips the body there for good measure. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Championship fight. Leg attempt. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps it on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is this takedown defense? Edwards gets the tie clinch here. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice shot by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. Full on mixed martial arts. Yeah. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Usman's lower jaw now starting to show Edwards signs. Edwards has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Plus right hand is true. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I mean, how many can he take? Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Usman. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Good work from the top here by Usman. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Escape, escape, escape. Nicely done. Well, any time you are in 
a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Usman's got the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. So a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Beautiful strike. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Usman's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. I mean, how many can he take? While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Usman. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Side control now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the He's going to attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And he's out. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Just looking to recover. Shoot him, bro. 
Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up the sub. You gotta try to find whether or not you're gonna land. Ground and pound here or if you're gonna go to a submission. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's gotta get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's gotta drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Oh, it looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Usman grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Edwards. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. Maybe a late submission here. There it is. So he taps out oh, to oh, the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. Kamaru Usman! All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number five. To claim the winner by tap out and new! DC, you know what it's like to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in New World Order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry this chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC.